Baby daddy got promoted, so I appealed for more child support. He ordered a DNA test Reading. and my son failed. Oh, sh**. He put the results in my mailbox. I forgave myself for cheat. Whoa! I forgave myself for cheating, but he's being petty. He's been, <laughs> he's been my son's dad for eight years. No, he hasn't. Why well, ghost my child now? How to fix it? I mean, lady, you just you just answered that question yourself. Why ghost my child? Because it's your child, not his. Honestly, I don't think you should be looking a gift horse in the mouth. This man could have caused a scene. Could have got up on social media and started a podcast. But instead, he calmly delivered the DNA results to you and bowed out. Couldn't have been me. Because my black ass would be suing for restitution. And if I don't get it, I know where you live. I'm hitting the meanest lick. The nerve. <laughs> How to fix it. The nerve of some people. Now go ahead and follow me. Stay toxic. Get a DNA test, too. Hey, Hey man, it's crazy how women can convince themselves that they're the victim when they were doing the wrong. I don't know what gene lies within them that's giving them the capability of saying, I forgave myself for cheating. What? <laughs> I don't understand it. No, because men are so unappreciative. Tell me why my boyfriend is mad at me right now. Because I went to go sign marriage papers and I signed for him. I was doing him a favor. He wasn't there. By the way, I didn't ask for the right to work. Not at all. No offense, but that was White Woman's Day. Didn't no black woman come and be like, oh, we want to work. Why would black women want to work? Black women have been working in this country for free for 450 years. I'm going to keep it real. We didn't want the right to work. We wanted to be a housewife like white women. Come on now. Oh, I want to work. I'm independent. Yeah, you go do that, bitch. We don't want to. Can we have like some kind of separate law? <laughs> Definitely, this was a white woman's fight, man. The feminism and stuff like that. And if you're a white woman watching this, shout out to Miss Susan. She a white woman. She always sending me clips and stuff. But if you're a white woman watching this, man, just know that your grandmother and them like that, they really didn't have to work like that, man. But my grandmother and all of them, they had to work. Ever since like 1800s, they always been looked at as workers in this country. You get what I'm saying? Uh, So you would think that they would be like, nah, they I ain't fighting for this. We've been working. You would think that's the case, right? My mama used to clean rich white people houses when I was a little boy. I remember she bringing me to these houses. So, you know, black women been caretakers for white women a long time. So everything she just said might've came out as a joke to y'all, but she's speaking, she's speaking facts right now. You know what I'm saying? But hmm, maybe that's a question we need to ask some of these women who are in their sixties now. Like why y'all so hard up about going into the labor force? It ain't make no damn sense to me. I'm only paying for what's on the check. I'm not splitting the bill, shawty. That's crazy. You expect us to split the bill? You got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some other Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about splitting the bill. What did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together. We split the bill. So My thing is. Y'all doing, doing way too much. We didn't order all that. Order. Guys, as a server slash bartender, I've seen this all too often, man. A lot of women come in, order expensive things, and then you have one woman at the table who only ordered a salad, you know, got a water with lemon, kept it very minimum, but everybody wants to split the bill evenly amongst the five. And that one person who ordered the, the, the $10 salad is pissed off because y'all ordered $50 lamb plates and stuff, you know, which is rightfully so. Y'all are doing that because y'all know that that other people are gonna foot the bill and your overall price is gonna be cheaper than if you was just to go in a restaurant by yourself and order it straight up. It's a scam, I don't care what nobody say. I've seen women do this all the time. Let me tell you guys, while I do my brows, I caught my ex-boyfriend stealing money out of my purse, on my security camera. Mm. Super Bowl Sunday, we were watching the iconic Rihanna show, like who doesn't love Riri? Duh. I had just came back from a vacation, so I was looking for one of my purses. Went for the life of me, like remember where I put the bag. Hot oh, girl, something. Let me just check my security camera. Normal person doesn't have security cameras inside of their house, but the thing is, I have been traumatized in the past. Hint, hint, by this person who I shouldn't even had in my house. So as I ask him, did he see the bag? He tells me, no, I didn't see the bag. So I start going back um, through my security camera timeline where I might've put the bag, whatever. But as I'm searching through the security foot, nigga starts acting really like weird. Went to the bathroom. I think he even went and took a shit. When you do something wrong, your stomach starts to hurt. He knew right then and there that I was gonna see something that I didn't wanna see. I was, nigga didn't have like a female in my house. Like I'm just, I'm prepared for the worst. Seemed way too weird, like. Come on so man, get close. to the point, come on. So as I'm looking y'all, I see a clip of him walking into the front room a couple of times. 
And these were times where I think that I was in a bedroom, either sleep or I don't know what I, just know I wasn't in the front room. Did y'all know that as I am looking, I come across a scene, which I will insert in the video of this man walking past my bag, looks in it. Because I am in the beauty industry and we work in cash a lot, I have a lot of cash all the time. Okay, I, don't know, I, was, I feel like I should be able to keep I know he's my a poopy. cash I know he out is. in my bag without having to worry she about do hair. anybody they love the pooping, touching bro. my stuff. So I notice when he looks in the bag, he goes to the refrigerator, you guys. And when he goes back to go back into the bedroom, I catch the nigga reaching into my bag and stealing money. I told you, I can look at him and tell. <laughs> that point i was honestly flabbergasted that's the crypt the night saw this nigga taking money out of my bag now i gotta confront the situation because the man is sitting right behind me as i am watching him steal from me on candid camera mind you guys we have facials planned to go to the next day it's like no way for him to lie for. about stealing money it's like it's in something. plain sight it's right here in our face like there's no way to lie about it then i said so what's why are you digging in my bag you act stupid for about 0 0.5 seconds i believe he was trying to come up with his lie but unfortunately there was no way out of that so i asked him like why are you digging in my bag this is weird like you're my boyfriend like why are you stealing money but it goes to figure He's a thief in real life, so he then tells but you was me, dating him. What? I'm not stealing from you. Those were keys that I grabbed out of your bag. A keys look like a wavy piece of paper, right? I'm gonna let you guys tell me whether you guys think this is keys that he stole or if it's money. But we all know it's money. That was just like honestly the final straw for me because I've been through so much with this person already. I was just like completely done. So after that whole situation, he honestly just ends up leaving my house and pretty much after that it was never the same and to this day we do not talk because he's a thief he's a liar he was all that before you met him though and ladies do not allow these niggas that you don't know like that to come and live with you he, i thought i knew who he was i've known him ever since i was in the, the eighth grade off and on we were dating but it just goes to show you that nobody's gonna have your back like you're gonna have your back and that you need to keep your belongings and yourself safe. So, that is a story about how I caught a nigga stealing from me. Guys, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. As soon as she says she's a hairstylist or whatever, I already knew what type of dude she date, man. It seems like that just comes with a job, man. You fill out the application to become a, uh, a beautician and then you automatically get the pookie with it it just seems that's the way it goes man and i'm sorry i could look at a woman and tell you what type of dude she likes to date i can look at a woman and be like yeah she look like she exclusively date white dudes i can look at a woman and say yeah i know she like the little pookies in the ray ray she like dudes that carry guns with the extensions on them and it's definitely not legal he bought it with the serial number filed off they like those type of dudes man so you know it's hard to believe that they expect any different behavior from these men when you met them displaying these type of uh attributes and characteristics and then they be wanting the side story nah i ain't going for it my favorite way for him is on bread so you want me to make you a sandwich yeah come in good come in camera. camera and say hi this is the love of my life uh oh I love seeing stuff like this. I ain't gonna hold you. Hear that crunch? That's from the peppers. What do you need? You need those spice for all the I love this type of stuff. I'm not going to hold you, bro. That's good. Most of the people I follow on social media be like couple channels and stuff like that, bro. I'm weird. I'm not going to hold you. I like seeing the little corny pranks and things of that nature. I love it. I promise God I was going to see about you. So, pick up the sandwich. Grandma going to see about Grandpa, you heard?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was today's segment of Positive Vibes. I hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did, man. I like to see women catering to their men. I like to see the men loving their women, bro. You know, I love to see that stuff, man. You know, I don't really see it happening too many times today, especially amongst people my age. But, like, I do run across couples. Matter of fact, I'm actually fortunate enough to live in a community where most of the couples are within their 70s, 80s, and 90s. Mr. Albert and Miss Aurelia, those are my neighbors, man. And, uh, they're definitely in their 90s and i see the affection between them all the time you know what i mean and then i have several other neighbors that have been together 30 40 plus years you know what i mean longer than i've been alive they've been together you know but i just love to see it i just love seeing this type of stuff you feel me <clears throat> anyways i hope y'all enjoyed today's video like comment and subscribe